Today on Brass and Steel Magazine, we visit Reedley, California. Now, where is Reedley, California? It's right in central California on the eastern side of the valley, right on the western slope of the Sierra National Forest. Chances are, if you've been to Sequoia National Park and seen the General Grant, you've gone through Reedley. Now, what is Reedley? It's a quiet little farming community nestled on the Kings River, and it's been around since the mid-1800s, starting off with grain, helping out the miners when they had the gold rush back in the 1800s to today where there's lots of stone fruit, peaches, nectarines, vines, wineries, lots of great things right here in the area of Reedley, California. Now why are we in Reedley? Because of Liberty Firearms. They have a very special gun for us to see today. One that was just introduced last week at the NRA convention and we're going to go inside and take a look at it right now. So today it's the m and Shield on Brass and Steel Online Gun Magazine. Well, let's go inside and take a look at this brand new little gem from Smith & Wesson. Hi. Good morning. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Well, where is it at? Oh, uh, it's right Wait a over here. Right there. Let's take a look at that guy. All right, grab it. Oh, there it is. Just introduced last week at the NRA show. Good, 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 good. Now, the things that they're talking about with this gun. First of all, there's no part of this gun that is larger than, uh, wider than an inch wide. Mm -hmm. They've kind of blended the bodyguard with the M&P because they put this integral lock right here on the side of the slide. And they've done, the one thing is to make the best use of their space, they've not made this an interchangeable back strap like they have on the standard M&P. Uh, guns, but what a little guy! In just a minute, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and compare sizes versus what would be the blend between the bodyguard and the M and P uh, compact guns. But what a nice little gun! Now, one thing they've done with this gun is they've improved the trigger. Uh, I know you haven't had a chance to see my Apex trigger, have you? I have. Oh, you have. <laughs> okay, because uh, we're going to they've actually adapted. A part from the apex trigger they put into this gun. Oh, really? Because this has the trigger reset switch now that this one does not. So they've actually improved the trigger on this gun, and I have a feeling, and this is only a feeling for me, that this gun will eventually have the same trigger upgrade that they put in this gun. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have to take a look at the inside, but when we're looking at this gun, I want to see about this trigger here. Yep. Audible and you can feel mm -hmm. the trigger reset. Something that is vacant on the stock M&P uh, line of guns right now. And this right here is nice crisp slide lock. It still allows for the uh, slide to be moved unlike with the bodyguard, but the trigger is now frozen mm -hmm. on this gun when that is in. One of the things I learned this week while at Front Sight, did you know that the M&P guns have a feature that is not on pretty much any other gun right now. If you have a full magazine and you're in the uh, emergency reload or the empty chamber, if you slam your mag up in there without even touching the slide release, it'll rock the slide forward. Really? Yeah. That's something that they've engineered into these guns so where you don't have to keep your thumb up here in order to rack the slide forward. Mm. It's just a matter of pushing the mag in. If you do it soft, it won't do it, but if you, if, you, if you push it in nice and brisk, it pushes the bullet right into the chamber. Wow. I didn't even know that until I got over to the, uh, and I've noticed it with my gun, I just never, it just never clicked. Mm -hmm. But it, it, sure, it sure makes a big difference. But uh, anything you know about this gun, or, or, or how did you come across this? Uh, it looks like your rep maybe came by, or what happened with it? My, my sales rep is very good. Um, they get new stuff all the time, and so when, when she gets things that we might want, she grabbed them for us. So we were lucky enough to get one of these uh, before a lot of people. 
Well, what you see here is the three different guns by uh, compacts by Smith & Wesson. The M&P 40C, the Shield 9mm, and the 380 Bodyguard. Each of them have their own unique individual, uh, but it's like a blend. If you take a look here, there is no slide lock on the M&P 40C, but you do have it here and here. But this isn't actually a slide lock. This is a trigger safety. This is a slide lock trigger safety. The bodyguard has a laser built in, but these don't. But I'm sure there's going to be plenty of aftermarket parts for these things. Then again, if you are a laser fan, because I am not a laser fan. Uh, this one has interchangeable back straps. These two don't. You can see size-wise, it's just a progression of size. When you, when you take a look at the trigger systems, there, this one here has a fatter trigger. I, I, still, I still believe that this is the future of the trigger for M&P. They've made it fatter, a lot more substantial. You can see how this is a lot thinner, uh, has a bigger curve. This has a, sh a, a slider curve to it right there. Uh, the same slide serrations. Uh, basically, they've cut the slide off just a little bit. Comes apart just the same. You do have the two different mags that come with this gun. This one does come with the extension mag here and the flat mag also. This is the mag that comes with the bodyguard. When it comes to size, let's see if we can uh, get these guns up here side by side. You can see this is where they really start to change. Uh, nothing in the middle gun here is wider than one inch wide. Uh, this has a lot fatter back strap here. You have the, which is the 380 bodyguard, which is the tiny, tiny gun of the bunch. But if you're looking at uh, personal defense, uh, 9mm is probably the lowest I would want to go with when it comes to those. But the bodyguard's a great gun. I have it. I carry it all the time. And then I have this one also with the Apex system. But it looks like they're doing a great job and they've blended the middle between these guns. When you take a straight comparison between the 40C, which is the current compact, and the new one, you can see the difference in the size. You can see the uh, length is just a little bit longer. And you can see also that it's a lot skinnier when you take a look at that. So there you go. There is the M&P Shield. Okay, here we go. This is the first look at the M&P Shield 9mm. Got a couple rounds to put through here. We're going to have three different shooters, so we all get an opinion of this gun. Um, every one of us here have shot... Have you shot the uh, 40C yet or the 9C yet? No. So you've never... Okay, this will be your first chance of taking a feel for this. But um, we've both shot the 40C and see how the 9mm comes up against with the new shield and the new trigger system for Smith & Wesson. So. Let's see how this M&P 9 shield works. Wow, I didn't even feel that recoil. I mean, it was really, really something else. It, it was just a really smooth shooting gun. The trigger's nice and crisp, and the, uh, the, the reset is right there. You can feel it every time. We're at about 15 yards right now, and it looks like I got all three rounds, all five rounds I just shot, uh, dead on. So, really happy with the performance of this gun. Very, very mild recoil. Isn't it? Isn't it? How about the trigger for you? It's something to get used to. I'm, I'm used to shooting a Glock uh -huh. um, and Sig Sauer, so I, it's something to get used to. I mean, as, as you can see, my, my shots are not where they, where they should be, but well, it's a completely new system to me. Sure, sure, sure. Okay.
I like this gun. <laughs> wow. Like no recoil at all. This is one of the nicest shooting guns I've had. I'll try it out. Well, we've all got a chance to put some rounds through the new Shield 9mm from Smith & Wesson. And uh, I'll tell you my first impression. It's everything that the M&P is and more with this new trigger system. The recoil with this little 9 was was surprising to me. It was it was very good, and I think we all three felt that today. It was, it was very minimal recoil. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Do you think they got a winner here? I think so. I think with all the features that comes with this gun, when you compare this against the kel when you compare this against the LC9s, and even the Nanos with the, with the double action only triggers, this trigger system should be able to trump those. The size is great, nice and thin gun, not, not even an inch at its fattest part, and it still has the, some people might call it a fault, but it does have a safety on it, so that if you are doing some pocket work with this gun, you can actually be a little safer with this gun. The M&P Shield 9mm from Smith & Wesson, another great addition to the stable there at Smith & Wesson.